All right, so in today's tutorial, we're gonna turn this photo and animate it on Final Cut. I call this the 2.5D parallax effect. All you need is two things. Final Cut Pro, any camera that can shoot good. Like this iPhone right here. But me personally, I use my Canon T6i. So I went out, got my friend with me to take these pictures. We went on the dock and went inside this tunnel. We decided the tunnel was actually better. Took that photo, airdropped it to my phone, did a little bit of editing, then airdropped it back to my laptop and then dropped it into Final Cut. So once you drop it into Final Cut and you put it on the timeline, first you resize it to fit the screen. Gotta hold down the option key to duplicate the photo. Go to your effects, type in draw mask, drop it on the top layer. Now this part is you gotta zoom in to start making your points. Quick side note, periodically you're gonna be dragging that zoom box so you can get everywhere throughout the photo. Now once you make your last point, I'm gonna hide the bottom to show you exactly what we maxed out. We maxed out everything outside of the shape that we created. Next we copy that clip to copy the, the mask properties. Then we paste those attributes to the bottom layer. Now the bottom layer is gonna have the same properties that you pasted on the top layer. Now we don't want that. We want to invert it so we keep the background and take out the subject. Now for us to invert it, we had to go into the inspector to edit the draw mask. And then we click the checkbox, invert mask. Two things to know before we start the animating. The background and the foreground. Background is of course the background. And then the foreground is me, the subject. One, we have to make the background zoom in while the foreground zooms out. And then we have to do it in a way that we don't see the mask out area. So our first part of animating, we're going to start with the background. We set the playhead to the beginning of the clip and set a keyframe. Then skip all the way over to the end of the clip. And then we click transform to transform it to make it bigger. Then repeat that same step to the top layer, but instead we would transform the foreground to make it smaller, just enough so it would cover the maxed out part. All this keying and transforming that we did, we basically animated these two photos. And now we're done. Let's see how we did. Hey, and that's it. And when you're done, you can share it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And for more tutorials, please subscribe because a lot more is coming soon. I actually posted this on my Instagram. So far, I got 100 people. 43 likes. I only got about 1,500 followers, so 